Hello, everyone, and welcome to this lesson on code optimization with ChatGPT. First, I would like to ask ChatGPT to give me tips on how to optimize, let's say, my Python code. So let me show you. First, I'm going to say, please give me some tips on how to optimize my Python code. And what you see here is basically ChatGPT is recommending various ways to optimize the code. First, use built-in functions and libraries. And then you can also use list comprehension, for example. So instead of defining a for loop, and maybe add, um, for example, an accumulator in there. Instead, what you could do is that you can just use list comprehension to do the exact same code in just one single line instead. And it's also showing you examples here, which is pretty powerful. And then you can also use, or kind of avoid using global variables. You can use efficient data structures. You can use generators. You can also use the in operators. Again, it's pretty amazing, really powerful, very good tips along with examples associated with them. Okay, what if I would like maybe to provide ChatGPT with a sample code and trying to optimize it? For example, this is again a very simple example. I'm gonna say, can you optimize this Python code for me? And here I simply have a function that just sums up two numbers together. You press enter, I'm gonna tell you, well, the code you provided is already quite simple and optimized, but what you could do is that you can add maybe a few suggestions. First, you can use type hints. Basically, you can add type hints to the function definition, and that can help improve the performance and readability. So basically, kind of ChatGPT has been able to rewrite the code for you here, in a way, and added that simply type hints in there. And also, showed you another suggestion, which is using Lambda function instead. So instead of using or defining the regular built, uh, I'm sorry, regular Python functions, and actually call that function here we're using lambda function instead and that is again we're going to generate an optimized or a more efficient code in one single line of code and then here it's showing you use the plus operation operator directly so instead of defining a function just just perform addition and then calling that function you can just simply just say result equals to x plus y and call it a day okay what you could do as well is you can say, well, could you please maybe give me a better answer as an example? Let's see maybe if, the, if you know ChatGPT has any additional ideas. So we're going to tell you, well, apologies for the previous answer. Seeing the provided code is really quite simple. I can be optimized further. However, here are some general tips on optimizing code. And here again, it's telling you pretty much the same, I would say, answer again, but maybe added additional tips associated with it. For example, using unnecessary calculations as an example and so on. Okay. So what I would like to do next is I would like to perform code optimization as well, but maybe to a little bit more advanced code. So if you recall, we covered this before when we trained our machine learning regression model. Let me copy the code first, and then I'm going to show you what do I mean by that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first ask ChatGPT to simply explain what this code is going to do. I'm going to say, what did this code do? And here I copied basically a list of uh, code. And if you recall, this is the exact same code that I covered before when we trained our machine learning regression model and we intentionally removed the X train and X test part. So if I just press enter, what you see here is simply an explanation of the code. So ChatGPT is going to explain it first. And then what I'm going to ask it afterwards to simply go ahead and optimize it. So let's wait and see. So here we go. What you see here is basically the code performs the following tasks. First, it's going to import necessary libraries. So we're going to import Seaborn, Pandas, Matplotlib, NumPy, and XGBoost, which is pretty accurate. And then we're going to read the CSV file here using pandas read CSV function. And then we're going to display the first six rows, last six rows, and then perform feature or display the feature columns next. And then the code checks the shape of the data, right? And then we check if we have any missing values in the data using the is null function. We also display the heat map using Seaborn. We displayed histogram as well. And then we display the pair plot using Seaborn to visualize the relationship. Again, pretty incredible because this is exactly what the code actually performed. And then we plot scatter plot afterwards. And then we split the data into the predictor X and target variable Y. And then we reshape the target variable. And then we split the data into training and testing. And this actually was missing part from the actual code, but this is kind of the assumption. Base chat GPT assumed that we need this step and added it here. And then we define an XGBoost regressor model, train the model, and then predict the target variable. 
And then finally calculate the various regression metrics and display the, display the evaluation metrics as well. So this is just simple code explanation. So what I could do here is I can say, well, could you please maybe optimize it for me? Can you optimize that code? Let's see what we're gonna get. Here, it's gonna tell you several, several suggestions to try to optimize the code. For example, it's gonna tell you, well, you can use a display instead of print, for example, in display function. Here it's gonna tell you, well, you need to scale, for example, the data before splitting. Another recommendation is, well, you can also use grid search CV as an example to perform hyperparameters tuning and optimization, which is pretty incredible because, well, this is actually a correct statement because what we have done so far is we actually have been able to train our machine learning regression model, which is XGBoost regressor, but we haven't op optimized the model parameter, which is a key step that we do here. And this is, again, a very solid, good recommendation as well. Okay. And simply here, basically, ChatGPT kind of start to recommend as well kind of the improvements. So if you scroll down, you will see that basically because of the limitation of the uh, output size, you will see that the code kind of stopped here in a way. But basically, you will see some of the implementation, some of the recommendations have been implemented here. So for example, from IPython display, import display, this has been included. That wasn't included in my original code. Okay, so what I would like to do as well is sometimes when we write any code, we would like to reduce the memory usage for that code. So what you could do that you can say, well, can you, for example, reduce the memory usage of the code? Please note that again, ChatGPT is quite smart. It actually kind of remembers what we have done in the previous task. So I'm talking about the exact same code. And here we go. It's going to tell you, well, you can reuse these techniques. You can use the type parameter, for example. When reading the CSV file, you can specify the data type of each column. So basically, instead of maybe using, let's say, float, maybe data type, which might include or consume a large amount in memory, you can simply specify the data type before, so that is going to improve your memory usage. You can also use the as type method to simply convert from one data type to another, which is pretty good as well. You can delete unnecessary variables as well, and you can use generators. And here we go, scaling you well, here is the optimized version of that code. So what you see here is basically specifying the data type for each of the columns available in the actual um, CSV file. So again, super accurate, so pretty incredible. So basically, instead of using you know, the um, same data type for the entire pandas data frame, here we can simply optimize it to optimize our memory usage. And that's pretty much it for this um, prompt. What I'm going to do next is, well, sometimes I would like to remove any repeated computations. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to simply detect if we have repeated computations in our code or not. So I'm going to say, are there any repeated computations that can be avoided? I can I tell you, well, well, yes. There are some repeated computations in your current code. I'm going to tell you, well, avoid computing Y twice. So basically, I did the Y computation here twice. And avoid computing scaling object twice. So here, the scaling object for Y is computed twice as well. And it's going to tell you, well, here is the optimized code without basically these tasks. It's going to remove these operations for you. Again, pretty incredible if you'd like to do memory optimization, if you'd like to remove any repeated part of the code. What I would like to do next is I would like to see if we can parallelize that code. So I'm going to say, well, can you basically parallelize that code to improve performance? Well, let's go ahead and check it out. And it's going to tell you, well, one way to parallelize that code is to use, for example, joblib library. And that is going to simply perform parallel computations for you. And here it's going to tell you, well, when you perform, um, actually here another example too, it's going to tell you you can use scatterplot when you can you uh, parallelize the loop that generates a scatterplot for each feature. And you can also, when you perform hyperparameters tuning and optimization, you can perform parallelization to that process as well. And it's going to tell you, well, here, is, here we go. This is an example code. And if you check it out, you can see, for example, here, this is the parallel part. Okay, if you'd like to parallelize some of the tasks, such as plotting, for example, scatter plots, so instead of using that for loop and doing that operation over and over again, you can just do all the entire operations in parallel. You can also see, because we don't have hyperparameter optimization and tuning, you will see that basically the code here stopped pretty much. Okay. And then sometimes you would like to improve the runtime of a given code. So I can say, could you please improve the runtime 
for this code and it's going to give you a few suggestions. Well, you can use a more efficient algorithm. So instead of using XGBoost, you can maybe reduce, kind of use a simpler algorithm, maybe support vector machines or maybe random forest, for example. I'm going to tell you, well, you can use feature selection techniques, actually pretty accurate. So instead of using all the features and feeding them all to the model, instead you can use maybe principal component analysis to do that, to simply reduce the number of features that you got in your data. You can use a subset of the data. So instead of using the entire data set, you can just use a sample of that. You can optimize hyperparameters. You can use parallel computing. You can also use GPUs, for example, like hardware accelerators, as an example. And you can also optimize your code by removing unnecessary computations or using efficient data structures. Again, pretty incredible suggestions. And then finally, and this is kind of the fun part here, basically what I'm going to do here is going to ask the um, chat GPT to simply apply one of the recommendations that they basically offered, which is we'd like to optimize hyperparameters and kind of experiment with different hyperparameters for the machine learning model or the machine learning algorithm to try to give me a better performance. And here we go. So what I'm going to do here, what you see is, well, yes, you can optimize hyperparameters to find the com best combinations using grid search CV. And here we go. Well, you see, basically, the code is going to be written for you. So we're going to show you here the, we're going to read the data. We're going to specify the data type for each column. We're going to split the data. We're going to do the scaling of that data. And then this is kind of the fun part. This is quite new. So we haven't had that in our original code. And basically, ChatGPT was able to define hyperparameters for the XGBoost model for you. And basically, here, running the, uh, or training the model with the Greet Search CV and basically generating all the different predictions, which is again, pretty incredible, pretty powerful. And that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.